This girl is doing any and everything to destroy and take down Kasanat's career, but it may be backfiring on her really soon. This is Layla Red. Now, a lot of you guys may know her from some ungodly websites, but that's to be discussed for another day. Now, Layla Red met Kai Sanad while on stream. How it started? In the A, where you at? You ain't here with me? I'm in the A too. Ooh, not with me though. I know, that's why, that's why we here. I'm gonna follow on you. Say on God. Can we now, the uncultured swine met Kai Sanad while on stream, and as soon as she found out they were in the same city, she was persistent on them meeting up and her coming over to Kai Sanat. I mean, of course. I mean, like, the uncultured swine sells her Libya pictures and her anal cavities for an astounding $5.99. So why wouldn't she take the opportunity to meet up with a young millionaire like Kai Sanat and, and stick her fangs into him? Her and Kai met up around October and November of last year. But the fling, if you want to call it that, was really short-lived. Kai will soon regret ever linking up with this chick because as soon as their very quick fling ended, she began to try to extort him. And when Kai said not wouldn't play ball, she took to her TikTok to expose him and even confessing as if it's not a crime, by the way. I'm only posting this and exposing Kai because he didn't give me my hush money. When Kai said it, don't pay you all your hush money. Shorty said he wanted, but he giving red flags, and I only want a nigga that's gonna drop a fucking bag. Nigga, give me money, I can't nigga. I'll be honest, I was kind of taken aback by the type of chick that Kai Sanat had laying in bed with him. A chick like her, bruh, I wouldn't even touch with a 10 foot pole, bruh. A chick like Layla Red ain't breathing the same air as me, and damn sure ain't gonna be able to enjoy the crisp air of my residence. I'm sorry, not happening. But the levels of cloud chasing this is, is kinda nasty, bro. On top of exposing intimate pictures of them in bed together, she then puts her own music as the background music. Trust me, shorty, we are not giving you any streams, right? There, there will be no streams coming from anybody who was watching this incident take place online, bro. It's not happening. Give up the rap career, bro. Continue to swallow cock, right? So she even reveals more messages to sort of prove that her and Kai did have communications once people start to call her out for cloud chasing and lying. This right here is one of the most outrageous receipts I have seen in a long time. This chick is a legend that Kai Sanat, the Badman from Kingston, paid her $5,000 to clap some yeeks. I don't believe it. And if this is true, I have to rejudge, rethink how I view Kai Sanat. All right, but the rest of the receipts is sort of like normal stuff, man. You feel me? Where, you know, Kai Sinat is telling her to come over. He's calling her Ubers. It's nothing too crazy. You guys see right here. Now, she showed other messages where apparently her and Kasanat exchanged another $5,000 for some yeeks. All right, now, it continued. Oh, hell no. Nah. Another 5 k for some yeeks? Yo, this chick is claiming that Kasanat gave her 15 racks for some yeeks. This is insane. Keep in the back of your head, she's apparently exposing Kasanat because he didn't pay her hush money to be quiet. Now, which is kind of bizarre, odd, and damn near cruel because it looks like they had a pretty decent interaction. It doesn't look like they had any type of big fallout. Kyle not gave her $15,000 according to her. So if that's true, that's a pretty good severance package, bruh. What more do you need from this man? Now, I have a rule in life, bruh. If a chick is effing for money or effing on camera or doing adult tapes, that means that sex means absolutely nothing to her. And I'm never going to interact or sleep with a chick where effing me means nothing to her, right? Having sex, like, if having sex with me is a job for this chick, bro, I'm good. I don't want no interactions with her, right? Because you know things like this is going to happen, right? Like, you're you, right, like you're purely seen as a come up to these chicks. So, Kasa not seeing the rumors going around that he was out here tricking, right, to the highest degree. So, Kasa not addressed it all on his live stream. Here's what Kasa not had to say. Do you not think I am now 10 steps ahead of everything that I do? Do you not think I know that I'm one of the biggest streamers to walk this fucking earth and I'm not 10 steps ahead 
I'm sorry because I'm I'm so humble, but I don't want I don't want to snap, bro. But I'm not ten steps ahead of everything people do. And say I'm ten steps ahead of you. Okay? First things to first, Shorty. Do you know what an NDA is? Let me go ahead and explain it to you. NDA is a non-disclosure agreement. Okay, which you signed, Kiara Rush. You signed that, Kiara Rush. You did. You did, and it protects me from everything that we've ever talked about or ever ever talked about. It's cool though. Cause you 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 let shit out, right? My dog just made a very big mistake. He says this NDA protects me from everything we ever talked about. It doesn't. It only protects you if the person you're talking to has something to lose. This chick is literally on the internet showing her anal cavity for five dollars and ninety nine cent, bruh. She ain't got much to lose. There's not much you can take from this chick, right? She don't got a hundred thousand or a million dollars, right? So the NDA only works if the person you got the NDA with has something to lose. So in the case of Kai Sinat, bro, like this chick has nothing to lose. You could probably sue her, but she doesn't have a nine to five. She doesn't do legitimate work. This chick primary bank account is probably cash app. You're not getting nothing from this chick. That's why she can go ahead and break this NDA without no worries in the world, bro. Like, her income is finessing men who she smashed and having them cash app her through extortion. You must have not remembered, as you were talking to me, in our last encounter, I don't know if you noticed, but you were recorded with voice 4K audio of you threatening me to post images for money. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't think I was 10 steps ahead. Oh, when, when my phone was like this on my lap. Oh, when my, when my phone was like this on my lap. Oh, you, oh, you didn't think I, 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 I record shit, right? Hold on. Run the audio, your honor. And you took a picture of me without my consent. Naked. So? Revenge porn. I ain't posted. That's revenge porn. You th but you're threatening. Again, yo. you're threatening to. One more time. You're threatening to, though. One more time. But you're, th you're, you're, th you're threatening to. One more time. I know, but it's still a crime. This audio is great because it turns the NDA matter into a criminal matter now. It turns it into extortion. See, she already admitted in her TikTok that she's releasing this because Kasana didn't give her any hush money. Now, Kasana has on audio... Her telling Kasanat that, well, her admitting, you know, in agreeing with Kasanat that she threatened to release it, then her reason for it is because Kasanat came at her sideways, right? So you pair this up with her saying that she's releasing it now because Kasanat didn't give her hush money. That's a criminal matter. And that's great because this is the only way a bad bug like this is going to get held accountable because suing her for bands that she don't got it's good, right? You're going to make her life a little difficult, bro. But at the end of the day, how difficult can it be when she doesn't have a traditional job? It's still a crime. I'm not messed up, though. That's, police. A, that's what I'm saying. I'm not messed up. Call the police. It's still a crime, though. I don't post it. Call the I'm police. Sure the thousands of people yeah, but, I can send it to will post it. I know, but you'll get in trouble for that. <sighs> it's coming how? from you. You're the source. How would I you, get in trouble? Add, you, the source. Text messages. You've admitted. Where? I don't have you've admit phone. you've admitted nothing I have on this phone. yeah but bro it makes no sense i'm just telling, i'm not blaming me not for a photo mm -hmm. for okay so she admits to casa not that she would just get somebody else to release it so this chick already had different plans to sort of like work around the laws bro but lucky for kai he got all that on record to show this chick's true intent was to weasel money out of him. And hopefully this is just not a lawsuit, bro. Hopefully this is a criminal matter and it gets taken seriously like a criminal matter, bro. Because again, a bad bug like this, bro, who just lay in bed and eat you up, that's all they good for, don't got no paper, bro, to be sued for, man. This chick is a scallywag. She's a thirsty, hungry scallywag, bro. Now, Kos not addressed the one thing that a lot of us care about, which is the paper, bro. Like, did you really give this chick man bands, bro? Well, Kostad addressed that and said it's all cap, and he showed the receipts. Um, there's an Escalade in there that motherfucker, my dudes get 2000 whenever, whenever she wants, she get whatever she want. Okay? Nothing there. She saved as Layla Red in my phone. On God. You're saved as Layla Red in my phone. Kiara Rush, I'm on you now. Kiara Rush, we, don't, we call you KR now. All right? Go to November. Stop. Stop. Fly your artist, fly your artist, hairstylist, facial lady, fly your artist, lay the fucking red, $50 for your fucking dumbass Uber, bitch! Bitch! I got 
got you a fucking Uber, bitch. Fifty dollars, bitch. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Stop talking about, yo. What am my mother? Let me tell you, nigga, something, bro. Stop speaking on me, bro. Hold on, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Bitch, wanna crash up for fifty dollars, bitch? You got in the fucking Uber and came here, bitch. Now I'm out of crash. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck. My obvious Kai is short as all. That he ain't go out that sad. Now he still went out sad by messing with a chick like this, bro. But he ain't go out as sad as she tried to make a scene, bro. Kai said, "Ain't no way I gave this chick no five bands or fifteen bands." All right? He said he gave this chick fifty dollars for an Uber, and that's it, and that's all. Which. If that's true, sir, that's how you do it, man. I mean, man, like a fifty dollar Uber stuff her up and send her back, man. Not even a shower, bro. Feel me, Scallywag? You can't get in my shower, bro. You can't even get the cold water, you know, that come from my drains, bro. You feel me? Go home and shower up. Now the chick responded back to Kai and said, "Kai, that's not true. Stop capping." And she provided her own receipts to show that Kai not did indeed. Give her five thousand. You know, apparently he gave her five thousand to shut up, and she was expecting the other half, but never got it. All right, here's the screen record for you guys. Up now, message. Well, didn't have to lie. Don't let him cap y'all. Now I do have Kai's number, so I was able to confirm that that is Kai's number that she does have. Uh, again, I don't think Kai is denying that her and him had intercourse. I mean, she was in his bad breath, so of course she has his number. However, he's denying ever giving his chick thousands of dollars. Now, the 5000 here is from the hush money, but she's also claiming that he did give her the $15,000, you know, 5000 on three different occasions as well. So, all together, bro, she's claiming that Kai not gave her 20 bands in his entire scenario, bro. This is some outrageous stuff, man. Now, this chick I told you before, right, has nothing to lose, right? She has, like, she has nothing to lose. So, this chick doesn't just stop after learning she's going to get sued and authorities are going to get involved. This chick actually doubles down and starts accusing Kai of some pretty heinous crimes, bruh. She tries to accuse Kai of selling her to his friends, essentially accusing Kai of sex trafficking, which is just outright nasty work, bruh. Like, to lie on this man... Because he won't give you any more money or money at all. It's just insane, bro. Bro, check it out. Court. Well, I mean, since I'm going to court, I might as well leak the nudes, the addy, the videos. Man, you know what some be cat. When all a n can say is, let's not talk about it. Uh, it's a finesse s***. Ain't no finesse s***. You played your s***. You were supposed to pay me my other half to keep quiet. You did it. I hit you up. You didn't want to respond. You thought I was going to take the little chump change that you paid me not to say nothing. No, I need all my funds. What are you talking about? Or I'm just gonna put this all over the world and I'm gonna get my funds from everybody else. Oh, we taking people to court? I'm ready to take you to court, little P. Diddy Jr. What you talking about? You tried to sell me to one of your homies and all that? Don't forget about I got all that in the T2 receipt for that too. When a chick got nothing on you, bro, the two go to accusations is grape and you're gay. And then they will sprinkle on. You got a little penis. Those are the three accusations they go to where they ain't got nothing, nothing on you. And this chick did all two. So she tried to say that Kai's not his P. Diddy Jr. And he sold her to all of his friends. Now, uh, first off, I'm 100% sure Kai didn't sell the chick to anybody. This chick sells herself. <laughs> like, this chick is literally on the internet showing her Libya, all right, for $5. She's selling herself, right? So, no, I don't think Kai is selling this chick. Now, do I think that maybe there's a possibility that Kai and some homies of Kai, they all smashed her? Possibly, right? Bro, the chick is a goer. Like, she's a natural goer. She goes for anything. So, of course, they all probably bust her down. But I don't think they all paid her. And I certainly don't think that Kai was the one who was arranging the transactions between. But get out of here, right? And then she tries to allude to the fact that Kai's not paid her to do some strange things sexually. This chick is just a deviant, man. I haven't even told them what you paid me for. Hmm. I'm sure they'll love to know how New York get down. Sue me then. You won't get too far. And then when it's all said and done, you gonna, you gonna wish you would've just paid me my money. She's literally admitting the crimes and don't care at all. Now, Kostanai hasn't responded back to this yet. I'm sure Kostanai is just gonna take it up with his lawyer, man. 
the chick got the little clout. I guess she's been asking for it, begging for it, which is absolutely disgusting or gross, bro, because chicks like this only deserve to see the underdwelling of the crib. They come through the underground passage, a la the basement, get bust down in the underdwellings, and go out the basement door. Chicks like this don't even deserve to see the light in a bachelor apartment, bro. Y'all let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this, man? Do you guys think that Casa not need to, you know, pursue this criminally? And do you guys think a lawsuit would even affect this chick? Let me know, all right? And if you're still watching, click on this video somewhere on my screen to find out how Rick Ross exposed some Drake's dark secret on his new diss track, Champagne Moments. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.